All right, today is gonna be a day of exploration in the sense of history and culture. Stone balls. Iron balls. We're gonna head to the museum. We've been doing some work this morning, so of course, gotta go down to our lady, get our coffee, standard, and then we're gonna go back to that buffet place we went to yesterday for lunch because it gives you such a big feed. It's like 99,000, which I think is around three pounds for an all you can eat buffet. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. No problem. Hello. Gap yar. <laughs> Turn into gap yar, man. Yeah, it's the plan today. It's one of the reasons I want to come to Vietnam is because of the history. I want to learn about it. I know very little, especially compared to Scar, about the Vietnam War. Um, and whenever people talk about the Vietnam War, I'm like, I feel ashamed that I can't contribute more. So hopefully today will give me a little bit of an insider. Let's go for day three, our final day in Hanoi. All right, so we have a plan of action for today. We're gonna go and get some food at the buffet, gonna go to the museum, then we're gonna come back, look at some accommodation in a um, cat bar, where we're going next, and then we have to buy our train ticket, our overnight train ticket down to Hue, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan. And then tonight we're gonna go out for the famous Vietnamese dish. Stay tuned. gonna wait till dinner to try pho but they do it here fresh for you so hot you're gonna have to give it a minute and by the way I know pho isn't how you pronounce it <laughs> oh look at that sorry guys I'm gonna have to put my sunglasses on so we are going to go into the museum now it was so full that was our first pho Need to learn how to pronounce that word because I know it's not pho. So good, all you can eat buffet, you cannot go wrong with that. Statue behind us, we got the museum over there with the flag tower, and yeah. Nice. We're gonna get educated together. You and I, today, I'm gonna give you some random facts that I learned. First random fact, you have to pay an extra 30,000 dong to bring a camera in, per person. Per camera. It's already 40,000, so 70,000 if you wanna take some pictures. That behind me, it's a MiG. It's a really fast bomber plane thing they used in the war. And it has a really pointy nose, which apparently drops off. Stone balls, iron balls. Stone balls, iron balls. Do not get them mixed up. like the stories and all that are all of it and me so I can't read them. Fact 485, whoa these are really steep stairs. Fact 458, <laughs> um, there's a spiral staircase that gets all the way up to there. 54 steps in total, let's do it. The height of these tunnels is 5 foot 7 and a bit. Ow. <laughs> I literally just spit. He does not. Fact 382, we can't go. This is a Chinook. These used to fly over our house and land on the field down the road because I live opposite a military hospital. They're really loud. They shake the windows of your house. So we have some exciting developments on today. We are going, we're leaving Hanoi tomorrow. We are going to Cat Bar. So basically what everyone does when you get here is you go to Ha Long Bay. Along Bay, it's, if you ever watch my Philippines vlogs, it looks very much like Karam with the limestone cliffs and you know, but the water is just full of boats and you know we do like an overnight tour. To be honest, we can't really afford the tours. So, and from what we heard, you can pick really dodgy companies and the really good ones are really expensive. We looked into how we could do without a tour and that is by going to Cat Bar which is a massive island and you go there and stay on the beach in a hotel or whatever you want to stay in, really. Yeah, so we're gonna figure it out from there and stay there for a few days and chill out on the beach, maybe go and haggle for a boat, see where we can take us. Um, I've heard reports there's no Wi-Fi there, but on the hotel websites it says that they have internet, so 
We realized that when the day we got back from Cat Bar, we wanted to just jump on the overnight train down to Hugh, which is like a 12, 13 hour train. And we were like, okay, we might have to book that in advance if we want a soft sleeper. Done. Done, went to the train station, walked in, she understood us really well, paid our money. I think it came to like 100 US dollars for both of us for a soft sleeper. Yeah, I knew that, I knew how expensive it was gonna be, but we shall see. So yeah, those are the updates, and my arm's really hurting. I'm a weakling, I can't do this vlogging thing, I can't. All right, off to get some food now. No idea where, we've looked at some places, a lot of places have closed down when I go and look into them, and then I open and I get super excited because I looked at the menu on TripAdvisor and then I cry. And then I cry some more. So we're just going to walk into the old quarter and see what we find. We've gone for another buffet and here you can make your own pho. So happy. Let's taste it first before I get too excited. Is it good? Good. It's really good. <laughs> Expensive than the last buffet coming in at 118,000 each. Oh, all right, another day in Hanoi. We are leaving tomorrow. We've got to go to the office because they can't pick us up because we're too far out of the old quarter apparently. So gotta go and about two or something, two p.m. Gotta be there, and it's like a bus boat bus combo ticket to Cat Bar Museum today was the History and Military Museum. I was kind of disappointed in Warsaw. I mean, they had like like B fifty two bombers, they had tanks, they had all sorts of like the booby traps and weapons everywhere, which was really cool. But I was hoping to go to learn a bit about the war because I don't know a lot about it. It wasn't something I was taught about in school in history in school. We learned about a lot of British history, um, ancient Rome, things like that, like World War One, World War Two. So I'm hoping when you get to Ho Chi Minh, they have more history stuff there. They've got that place with like the tunnels and you can have a tour of the tunnels. Uh, so we know about that one, but if you know of anywhere we can learn about history along our route, we're going down the coast over the next month, then please let me know. Um, I know I could sit here and Google the Vietnam War, but I'm in Vietnam, it would be nice to be able to go somewhere and even if it is one-sided, which is to be expected, I'd still prefer to learn it here, if that makes sense. I felt like a lot of things I saw in that museum I'd have to come back and Google because I had no idea what was going on. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a great day, so much good food, two buffets people, two buffets guys, two, high five! For buffets! Who doesn't love a good buffet? Especially when there's so much pho. Need to learn how to pronounce pho. P-H-O. It's a very famous Vietnamese dish. It's noodles in a broth with vegetables or whatever you have in it. Um, need to learn how to pronounce it, but it is life for me. Noodle soup is something I could live off for the rest of my life. Especially here. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, tomorrow we are leaving. And we are going to Kappa and hopefully we're going to find beautiful beaches, beautiful water, go on some boat trips. I don't know. We'll see what it's about. I will see you tomorrow for more adventure and fun times. I don't know what the internet situation is going to be like. We have got Wi-Fi where we're staying, but I don't know what it's going to be like. So bear with me if videos are late. I hopefully they will not be. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe because we have fun here. And Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Snapchat, all at Psycho Traveler. Links are down there and I will see you. I don't know why I have this accent now. It's Russian. I'll see you tomorrow. It's late. I'm going to bed.